Welcome to Warbass Design Studios in Santa Monica, California. My name is Philip Warbass, and my firm develops mobile marketing strategies for the entertainment industry here in Los Angeles. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so today in a five-part series, we're going to demonstrate how to create a designer MS tag and the mobile presentation layer behind the tag. Lastly, we'll create a very special digital one sheet that will showcase our new designer MS tag. MS tags are created by Microsoft and are now operating in beta. This is the tag we created. Well, every designer's protocol is a little different. At Warbass Design, the first thing that we do is look for the strongest collateral that we can find for any given project. We like iStock Photo a lot. There are a lot of other great um, royalty-free uh, warehouses online that you can use uh, for collateral. Um, and so if you have an account at iStock Photo, go ahead and log in. If you don't, I'd encourage you to sign up. Okay, we know that MS tags are made up of a collection of dots. And what we have to do to create a designer tag is put an object over each one of those dots. Uh, and so we're gonna try to choose something that's similar in shape. So I went ahead and uh, decided to go with heart-shaped candy. A couple pages in, I found a great uh, object that I wanna use for our designer MS tag. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download an 800 by 672 DPI comp. Okay, now that we've got our initial collateral taken care of, we're going to go ahead and create the actual tag itself. Go to microsoft.com forward slash tag. On the front page, click make a tag. If you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up for one. Once logged in, go ahead and click create a tag. Now go ahead and fill in the details. We've chosen to point our MS tag to a URL. Once you click Save, your tag will automatically be listed in your console. Look to your right. You'll see a word Render. Under the word Render, look for your listing and click on the icon. Highlighted in yellow are the areas of interest. We want to set our file type to PDF. We want to set our barcode size to around 5 inches. And we want to set um, our layout pattern to Custom. And then go ahead and click the Render button. Now go ahead and save the file. It should look something like this. 